Welcome to Chromecast. Take it out. I'm Sam Major, back once again with Rupert Mills. Hey Sam. We're talking about workspace management. Yeah, absolutely. And we're going to make this a bit more interactive than usual. Once we've gone through a bit of preamble about what it's all about, we'll actually do a bit of, um, we won't do an Annika Rice run after the camera, but we'll set up and we'll go through some of the bits we've actually implemented in Chrome House. Yeah, absolutely. I think we're going to talk about visitor registration, uh, digital signage, mm -hmm. desk booking and room booking, which are things that have been around for a long time. There's been ways to do that in, in buildings and people have gradually implemented technology to do it. But what's always been the barrier has been the cost of doing it. So it's you talk about historic right? vendors. We've worked with AMX and Crestron historically yeah. to do that stuff. And the solutions have been a bit clunky in the background. So building servers on premise to integrate with your exchange server, mm -hmm. this, that and the other. And proprietary the, switching and whatnot yeah. controllers and yeah, exactly yeah. and 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 the, the little panels so they become thousands of pounds for a panel yeah. to stick on the door or to stick on the desk and manage things and it's been prohibitive for a number of organizations a number of organizations have looked at it and gone you know what actually we want it but that's just too expensive yeah. whereas with the advances in the internet of things and all the rest of it all the things like tablets have come down in price hugely yeah nfc nfc technologies have come forwards mm. All that sort of stuff has become so much easier, mm -hmm. along with the cloud service systems tie in, like M365, it allows you to then say, oh, hang on, this is all kind of pre-built. There's a standard way of doing things. They're not trying to build connectors to lots of different <coughs> on-premise solutions. They're yep. just saying, right, okay, we've got this. It'll connect to your cloud, your cloud. Yeah. Um, and from that perspective, it's made it much more attainable for ordinary businesses. I mean, we've implemented a lot of it here because it's stuff that we go out and we, we use with customers, but it works really well in our building. Yeah, absolutely. And from that perspective, we're seeing a big uptake in it because people are saying, you know what, we can afford this now, let's do it, because it makes a big difference to the way in which our team interact with the buildings. It makes a big difference, you're absolutely right. And you know, we've, little things like the desk booking is wonderful because whilst we've got a lot of room in Chrome House, if everyone who worked there turns up on the same day, we don't have room for everyone to sit. So yeah. actually having that capability of knowing you'll come in with a desk booked, ready to work, yeah. does help. And I think seeing what's going on for the day, all that sort of good stuff, does make life easier. And the one I like the most is the room booking. Yep. The, I definitely have this, no, you can't turf me out, and all that sort of good yeah, stuff. Very visual, room. yeah, and yeah. Very easy to use. I think that's, that's the, yeah, the yeah, interesting absolutely. thing. It's all very it's nice to look at. It's very easy to understand. The big thing you said there, the connectors with 365 and whatnot, so the information's accurate. It's sim simpler to stand up and to figure. And yep. you know, we, we, we say the experience we had with some of the other vendors could be quite clunky and expensive. And, and let's be honest, what you can do with, with the just call them touch pads now, mm. very nice, easy, intuitive. We're not we're doing with them. And they age better than some of the buttons you see yeah, put into desks. And, and a lot of things where people have downsized their offices post COVID and said, actually, we have a smaller space and allow you to come in part time yeah. or whatever. Um, all the things we've done, other technologies, so things like locker booking or car park space booking or wayfinding, all of that sort of stuff comes into mm. it as well. So yeah. there's there's all of those technologies just make it easier to use your workplace. Perfect. So we should probably, on that note, yep. wander downstairs to start with yep. more. With the magic of cinema, we'll be down there. Magic cinema. We'll arrive in reception and we'll talk about visitor. What's the word? Visitor registration. Thank you very much. Right. Cool. See you there. So here we are. Yep, in reception. So, so it would seem. Um, so if you want to talk, so I guess through the the visitor, visitor sign in. Yeah, sure. So what we use these days is a touch screen for mm -hmm. visitor sign in. It's pretty straightforward as you'd expect. Yep. Welcome screen on it. Sign in. You can add various messaging to this to ask to ask people to accept terms and conditions or mm -hmm. sell, show them fire routes or things like that as you're going through it. Or you can just have okay, come on into your details and you can ask people to put their information in so that essentially you've then then captured the information mm -hmm. of the visitors into your building, allows you to do fire regs, this, that and the other, but also see vis general visitor management. Mm -hmm. um, so what we can do, for example, is if I pop myself in here, so I can say, okay, I'm visiting, I can put my email in. It's a name wrong. Oh, perfect, thanks, <laughs> yeah. Or not, right. I have to fill these forms in, these bits in, because they're compulsory. You can, again, you oh, can make good. bits of the information compulsory, you can make bits of it not compulsory. That's up to you. Now you've left me badge number nine uh, and phone number. 
Okay, yeah. so you can pop that in. Uh, registration I'll put my for the car if in need be. For the car park, yeah. all that sort of stuff. You can add and remove fields as to what you want to do. Uh, who do I have an appointment to visit? So I can do you. Yeah, exactly, Sam. Right, there goes two Sams. So I'm going to pick you. Yep. You can do that by location. So if you have multiple offices, multiple locations, yep. you say actually people in this office are the people that you might have come to visit. Uh, so I can pick up, pick up and say I'm visiting you mm -hmm. next. So I can take my photograph. There we go. That's taking my photo. Ready to put on the badge. Are you ready? Yes, next. And there we go. I have my visitor badge. That would normally get stuck to visitor's pass yep. um, for whoever's here today. And I can give feel, you the... uh, in my back pocket, the email has just arrived saying you're here to see me. So that works, exactly. lovely. So if you were upstairs normally, you'd yeah. be aware and Emily would be phoning you around about now. So Indeed. Um, yeah. I'll say I know, it's in my inbox. <laughs> yeah, indeed, yeah, exactly. But there you go. So there's, there's the visitor sign in. When you come to sign out, you get much the same. So yeah. sign out, what's my name? There we go. It'll, you start yeah, typing, you go. it goes and picks the people who've signed in. That's me. Select me. Do I want to sign out? Yes, please sign out. And away you Pass go. this back. To, thank you for your visit. Have a lovely day. Pass that back to reception yep. when I'm signed out. But that keeps you then a compliance log for the people yes. in and out of your building. You can set it up to email people policies when you're in the building mm -hmm. if you want to or whatever. It can do a whole bunch of things for you along those lines. But in terms of instead of your old paper record course, book or whatever, yeah. it's a bit neater and a bit more modern. Yes. Ties in with your guest management. You can use it for wayfinding as well. So it can start to pop up messages around the digital signage, say, okay, welcome so-and-so, we yep. can see you're in the building, so you, this is where you want to be going, mm -hmm. that sort of stuff, but yeah, that's one element of it. Brilliant. Okay, so potentially then we should wander around and look at some digital signage. Yeah, let's do that next. Perfect. So here we are in the break room, just to give it some context, one of the main thoroughfares of the building, yep. from the car park through upstairs. Yep, welcoming visitors, as was there a moment ago, yep. displaying some information about the company. This is the sort of thing you can put, you can put digital signage anywhere in your building. You can put something on the back of a screen, office uh, locations, yep. a bit about us. You'd uh, hope they know that if they're here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, indeed. Well, this one anyway, the other yeah, two, true. maybe yeah, not Manchester, yeah, yeah. Edinburgh, that's, that's different things. Yeah, you can have useful information for, for the team who might be in here during lunchtime or whatever, mm -hmm. weather today, etc. cetera. Um, you, you, you basically build this with feeds that you take from various different locations, local news, yep. uh, and you can say, okay, right, I, I'm gonna display things that would be useful to the team. Um, I think, let's see what comes up with next, there you go. Some more information about us, recent news, so we've just sorted our Crest, Crest certification. Yeah, well um, done, Customer satisfaction survey, <laughs> our targets for net zero. Yeah. Um, oh, and breakfast. Don't forget breakfast. Don't forget breakfast. <laughs> yeah. That's important. There's all that sort of thing that is information you might want to display on signage and yeah. show to people that you can put up there and display in a public area. You yeah. can do wayfinding. You can do, I don't know, anything you might want to do. It, it, it was gone are the days of having to stick the piece of paper on the wall with a blue tack for everyone to see, etc. Yeah. You know, you can put up whatever you want, whenever you need it, central content management, et cetera. So yeah. easy to actually get the messaging out mm. and back we go again. Yeah. Um, but very easy to get, as you say though, welcome company ABC. Yep. And then we could feed that. And also with the, we're talking Wayfinder, so as you move into different rooms, we can change the messaging. So it's continuity and context as you move around the building. So welcome company, yeah. you're going to a think tank and you can have, and the best you thing can about extend this is that, et cetera. You could have, I mean, we've done this for customers with let's say five buildings on their campus or whatever, yeah. and we put 20 screens per building, you do it all centrally. And then because you know where each screen is, you can deploy the relevant information to those areas. So the wayfinding is relevant to that building, but the central content of what's for breakfast today, for example, yeah. is deployed to all Different. of them. Yeah. So those bits of content can be deployed from One whoever place. in your comms team or your yeah. marketing team is managing this type of thing. And you haven't got to um, change 400 pieces of paper. Yeah, and it <laughs> doesn't require an IT overhead once you've trained those people to, no, to manage it. You're not talking about the IT team having to go around and change no, the content on the screens all the time. It takes that load off of those guys because that's not, it's yeah. not for IT to tell us that it's pastry day. Absolutely. For instance. There you go. Right, there we go. And, 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 it's, and it's that sort of thing that we will deploy for customers. We can pop them out there and, and, yeah. and run them out there using the GoBright technology mm -hmm. anywhere in any building. Perfect. Okay. There you go. Where should we go next? I suggest desk booking. Perfect. So, hot desks. Yep. We have a bunch. And when you have this sort of thing in your office, you can quite easily make them bookable. So, in this scenario, we've used little NFC stickers. You can have touch pads on the desk or whatever. Yep. But these are really simple and work really, really, really well. Have the app on your phone. So if I unlock my phone, he says, just scan the app. Yep. And there you go. It's found me the desk. Perfect. Hot desk two. I can take that and I can 
choose how long I want to book it for, extend my booking, whatever I'm doing. Yep. Um, book it through. Let's do that. There we go. And there we go. I've You're booked, in. I've booked this hot desk. It will go red on the Wayfinder or yep. red on the room booking system. If you have a whole bunch of hot desks in your building, 20, 50, 200, whatever it might be, you can open it up to your staff to use their normal um, M365 account or normal login mm -hmm. um, to connect to the system. It doesn't have to be M365, but anything SAML yeah. basically. Um, connect to the system and allow you to say, right, I'm booking that desk for me for the day today. Yeah. They can sit at home before they come in and book a desk. They can book a desk the night before for tomorrow. Check occupancy. For, Check yeah. occupancy, yeah, exactly. There's plenty of free, free desks in the office. I'm going to go into the office today. I want to sit next to so-and-so because I'm working with them today. I'm going to book uh, yeah, desk yeah. one and they're going to book desk two. two. Perfect. We can work together. We've booked our hot desks. We're in there. So. Superb. Yeah, nice very straightforward, and nice and easy on the mobile phone. There we go. We've done this for a number of clients who uh -huh. basically downsized during COVID, got smaller working spaces, but ended up saying, okay, we want people to come in and use the office, pre-book your hot desk, and you can choose which days you're coming in. Avoid the Mexican standoff if yeah. I got here first. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Perfect. So, but yeah, really, really good. Um, very straightforward. Simple. Well done. Meeting rooms? Meeting rooms. Let's do meeting rooms. Let's go. So, meeting rooms. Yeah. Like this one here. Mm-hmm. It's green, it's free, it's, uh, you can see that they're well lit up, so you can see them from anywhere. They've kind of yeah. got an angle, so you can see them as well. So if you're looking down a corridor, you can see this green rim around the edge here, all yeah. the way around. You can see this one's free for the rest of the day because it's almost seven o'clock at night, um, but the little symbol here is free infinitely today. Um, Let's have it. Yeah, indeed, yeah, it's our meeting room. So you can book that from uh, Outlook, you can book it from yep. Teams, there's different plugins that you can use to do it, or you can just do it natively, or you can do book Press now. Yeah, so I can book it now, and I can say, how long do I want it for? Yep. I'll have it for an hour, please. Oh, uh, well, you've yeah. seen the time. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah. But, um, but yeah, you can put your details in, or I can just say it's anonymous booking. Yep. That'll put that in, uh, away it goes in just a second. Booking created, look, red. Perfect. All red. So Busy. we're now in the meeting room. We've got one hour and one minute left because I booked it for an hour, so it's given us a fraction over. Yep. Um, but yeah, so it tells you on the panel what it's booked for, who it's booked for. That will have gone and updated the mm -hmm. resource mailbox in 0365 in our case yep. and created the booking so anyone else could now see this room is booked out if That's they use the go app. Visually as well, if you're looking around the office of what's free, yeah. you can see all of ours quite easily. Yeah, so that's. What they do also, which is quite good, is it will display amber before the room. If the room's booked for a meeting, yep. it will display an amber waiting for someone to turn up. And you just literally hit the tick on the outside when there's a booking for it. So you press the tick, mm -hmm. walk into the room, and you're booked in, it changes to red. Yep. Now, you can set those rooms. It often happens in big corporates where you have meeting rooms booked out by someone every week for ad infinitum yep. and not used. You can have it, and it basically will say, okay, how long do you want to give it before it frees that room back up? Yep. And then it creates the room back as available in the, in the resource mailbox if they don't tick themselves into the room so you can do that you can integrate it with various other things as well but the fundamental of it is that it's these things used to cost thousands of pounds oh, yes. from AMX or Crestron yes. now there are a few hundred and you can yeah. pop them on they do portrait or landscapes so you can put yeah. them on they do glass mounting panels for them as well so you can put them on glass if you need to but in terms of simplicity mm. they're just so much more available this sits in an IOT VLAN here so it basically yep. sits outside of our main network but just isolated has access to the internet checks into the to the resource mailbox for itself and updates itself on the fly so um, just really really simple simple is the thing like I say cost effective and simple so yeah perfect you can put your branding on it do whatever you want but yeah straightforward brilliant okay so this is the sort of thing you mm -hmm. could put in your reception, or yep. your digital signage, anywhere, right, really. On the top of any floor you might have, etc. Exactly. Yep. So this is first floor of Chrome House. See, seven o'clock at night. Yep. Clues in there, everything being green. Yep. Director's meeting room, hot desks. <laughs> meeting room one, think tank, meeting room two. They're all green at this time of night, but if you put this somewhere in your building where people coming into the building say, oh, I need a meeting room. Okay, I can see straight away, yeah. that one's available, I'll go there. You can do this picture in picture, so on the big um, digital signage stuff we had earlier, you yeah. pop it down in the corner, we've done that exactly. for a number of clients. Super visual, as you say, in a big office, large campus, etc. you don't have to walk around and go, oh, is, it, is it not, is it not? Yeah. You know before you set off on that potentially long journey around the building, yeah. where you're going to and exactly what's free. Exactly, this is replicated on the app, etc. Yeah. And then you have wayfinding. So Perfect. Again, it can show you the directions to the room, yeah. um, say, currently which one we're selecting, so we're in the think tank, and the directions to the other rooms are that way. So, it's a, yeah, it's fairly straightforward, but yeah, it's, it's it again, just makes it really visual, really mm -hmm. simple. You see th simple things along here, so for example, it tells you what is available in the room, so yeah. each room's got a screen, that meeting room's for four people, that's for 10, we're in the yeah. think tank, this room will take 12, 12 people. Yeah. Um, gives you an idea of... Uh, <coughs> it's, it's super visual, right? Super yeah. easy to understand. 
it's very easy to use. We've seen that with the mm -hmm. NFC scanning. Uh, yeah. I think that, that's the whole, I guess it, the, 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 it sums it all up nicely, right? This sort of stuff yeah. has come on a long way. Yeah. It's now commercially viable, whereas before it was prohibitive for many yep. businesses. It's simple in, in the type of technology we can use. Um, we've seen the, the, the room booking panels. It's just a tablet. Yeah. You've got your mobile on you anyway. We're utilizing those technologies. Um, and like you said, yeah, it's intuitive and easy to understand, easy to get out of the store and, and doesn't cost yeah, doesn't so cost the earth, right? Really good example of that. We've just done a complete refit of a finance organization we work with in the city. Mm -hmm. We've put new panels up, which look much better than their old panels, yep. all the room booking, everything else, including all the panels and the fitting and everything was less than the license renewal on their, hit, <laughs> on their previous system. So <laughs> it's, it saved them that. And, and going forwards next year, the license cost is, is I think about five or six percent of what they were paying wow. for their previous solution. Um, okay. So it's it's so it's an order of magnitude. It's a little bit cheaper. No, it's no, an order of magnitude. It, it was cheaper. it was yeah. literally cheaper to put an entire new system in than Amazing. renew the like the software license on their previous vendor. So anyway, it's and, and this is more functional. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. Well, thank you. No worries. And thank you for joining us on this episode of Chromecast. Take it out. Remember to like, subscribe. Comment and share. If anything you'd like us to talk about in future episodes, leave in the comment section below. Thank you.